What's up guys? So today is my 20th birthday, so I'm taking you along for a treat yourself bougie girl day. This is a very good itinerary to follow if you're visiting New York City or you want to treat somebody you love who lives in New York City. So today is jam packed. I'm going to Bergdorf Goodman for the first time to get afternoon tea and I'm going to finish off the night at Equinox Hudson Yards, which is the most fancy location in the whole world. So I can't wait to take you along with me because there's gonna be a lot of other fun surprises throughout the day. <laughs> it's time to get ready for some fancy afternoon tea. Bam, there we go. I love this outfit so much. I feel like a cross between Tinkerbell because of the bun and these dandelion earrings and Cinderella because of this cute romper. I'm gonna go meet my friend Julia soon and I'm so excited because if you know me, you know I love afternoon teas. So I'm really excited to try the one at Bergdorf Goodman. Once we arrived, I realized I was way in over my head. This place is one of the fanciest places I've ever been. I mean, look at that interior. We were actually running late for our reservation, so we were trying to get to the tea room as fast as possible, but we got totally lost. We kept going up the escalator, thinking it would be on this floor, and it never was. We were like, okay, maybe this floor or this floor, until we ended up going like seven floors and finally found the place. But it was pretty comical to be scrambling in this maze of luxury. I've been to quite a few afternoon teas and I have to say this was one of my favorites. I felt like there was really good value. They definitely did not skimp out. The selection was great. I loved all of the sandwiches, which usually doesn't happen. And the scones were delicious as well as the tea itself and the desserts. Funny story, so we were in this elegant restaurant and I was trying to be on my best behavior. So I posed with my friend's champagne because no drinking until you're 21. And right after this video was taken, I actually knocked the champagne over as I was reaching for a dessert, which is such an on-brand thing for me, but it was so embarrassing. It spilled all over her, the poor thing, but luckily she has a great sense of humor and the waiters brought another glass of champagne. It was all fine. Pat, at least we got some free champagne out of the embarrassment, am I right? Speaking of free, since it was my birthday, they brought out this complimentary cake, which was delicious. It just goes to show how amazing the service is here. It was truly best service I've had in New York City. I just dropped off my friend because she has class, but now I'm gonna go back in because I saw some pretty cool things um, in the Bergdorf Goodman store, so let's check it out. Although there's no denying that the lobby and first floor of Bergdorf Goodman is absolutely stunning, I urge you to not do what most people do, which is stay there. Get up that escalator and check out the other floors where it's so fascinating to see the vast dynamic range between designers and their color choices and their overall aesthetic. I mean, this is an absolutely stunning place to explore. My favorite part about shopping in person that online shopping will never replace is observing so many different textures in a real life. Running your hand on a quality fabric and observing sequins, it's just the best. I pretty much loved everything in the store, but there were a few sections that stole my heart. First was the evening gown section, obviously. I just love the glitz and glamour of this section of the store. I think it's so fun to fantasize about wearing these over-the-top dresses, even though, you know, it's probably never going to happen, but boy, is it fun to imagine. Next up was this beachy summer collection from Zimmerman. I made the fatal mistake you should never do in a designer store, which is check the price tag because it will break your heart. But regardless, this was a super fun section. I feel like it fit my aesthetic perfectly. I have to give an honorable mention to this section, which gave me total Cruella de Vil vibes. Before I get to my favorite section of the whole store, I want to mention it is so fun to sit in the little lounge chairs they have in the sections. I felt so classy and fancy doing this. All right, so my favorite section was this libertine suit area. Oh my God, do you see this white suit right now? I would 
totally rock this to a performance, to a grocery store, literally anywhere. They also had a violin jacket, but personally, I think I would still go with that stunning white sequin suit, but you can't ignore the detailing on this. It's gorgeous. All right, before we leave, I have to show you the ultimate hidden gem at Bergdorf Goodman. It's these windows that you can find on almost every floor that have an un- paralleled view of Central Park. I feel like a lot of people forget about these windows. Do not miss them if you're visiting the store. They are stunning. I'm all tired out from shopping so I'm gonna get an Uber back and get dinner with my friend and then probably head to the gym. This dinner definitely did not fit the luxurious theme of the day but it was delicious so can't complain. All right I'm on my way. I'm trying to beat the sunset to try and get to the station before dark and I downloaded some podcasts on my phone like I always do. Um, and right now I'm listening to a crime podcast called Disappearances, which I will admit it's a little bit creepy to watch that while I'm on the train, but it's a life hack, it keeps me alert. <laughs> The train was running late and I was hoping it would only be a few minutes late like usual, but I ended up waiting like 10 or 15 minutes and I was getting really stressed out. So okay, the trains are super delayed. So I have to take an Uber uh, all the way to Hudson Yards because there's no way I'm gonna make it on time if I take the train. And if I don't make it to class, I get a penalty. Um, and I don't want that, I don't wanna pay fee, so it's probably better just to pay for an Uber. So let me try and get one and get there on time. And now I'm vibing because the radio is playing Green Day and I got a good price on the ride. Thankfully, it made it with more than enough time to spare and got to see the beautiful sunset on the way and here we are. If you are a fitness freak visiting this city, you have to get a day pass to this place. I think it's around 40 or $50 for a day, but it is so worth it. Going to this gym feels like such a luxury. And if you have a membership, it counts towards your month. So for me, every class I take is around 15 to $20, depending on how often I go. They have Kiehl's products in the bathrooms. Everything is top tier luxury. I can't recommend this enough. They also once in a while do special classes. I did one with a celebrity fitness trainer. I have a vlog on it. I've linked it in the description, but that's also something to look forward to. So there you have it. That concludes our luxurious day in New York City. I really hope that you can use this itinerary either for yourself or someone you love. I really enjoyed spending my birthday with you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a like because it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can see this video as well. Thanks again for coming along with me and I'll see you in the next video.